evening guys this is ma'am welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video we are going to learn what is uniformity uniformity is one of the major factors we consider while making lux calculations and it's very important to understand what is uniformity and how to achieve uniformity in our dialux simulations let's get started now what is uniformity in lighting Uniformity refers to how evenly light is distributed across a space. To understand this, let's consider a sample project. Here I have considered a sample project of gym. I have placed surface mount down light here. It has medium optic. And when you see the light patterns on the floor, it has light and shadow patterns. This means the light is not uniformly distributed across the space because I have even the dark areas in the space. To say it more better, let me on the thermal and if you check the thermal image, you, you can clearly see that the illumination is not even. Here there is more light, here it's dark and even if you see the lux values here when I keep move my cursor here you can see below that it is 603 lux but if i move this cursor here it is 100 lux so there is huge difference between these two okay and the pattern repeats itself because positioning of my luminous is such okay in this project here it clearly shows that illumination is not even okay the light is not distributed evenly across the space now let me consider the same project but with a different luminaire okay here i'm using a linear profile with wider optics and if you see on the floor the light is evenly distributed there are no light shadow patterns see here bright light and shadow patterns but here it's even there is no dark shadows light is distributed evenly when you check even the thermal whereas this it has light shadow patterns now this is what is your uniformity i hope you understood the definition of uniformity how do you calculate uniformity uniformity is the ratio of minimum illuminance to average illuminance okay you don't have to worry about this formula nor it's necessary for you to remember even the formula because Dialux does this calculations for you. What actually you have to remember is the understanding of uniformity. Now we understood what is uniformity okay and uh, we know how uniformity is measured it's a ratio of minimum by average lux but we don't have to worry about the formula because when you do the lux simulations and you check the results overview here it shows you the uniformity level okay and there are few settings which you need to make which are important for you to properly evaluate uniformity levels okay first thing is the space because setting a proper utilization profile is important for you because according to that itself you know how much uniformity you have to reach now since this is a gym i have selected utilization to be rooms for physical exercise and if you see here uniformity is defined here 0.4 okay that is what i have to achieve right if you want to learn in detail what are the spaces i have a separate tutorial on it you can check that i will provide a link of it in description okay next is that your uniformity will be calculated on the work plane itself okay so it's very important that you understand what is the work plane and how to give a proper height of this work plane and you even need to understand what are wall zones i have another short tutorial detailed on workplace you can check that tutorial now once you make the settings for spaces utilization profile and the work plane the next important thing is whenever you are doing final lux calculations to check if you achieve the required lux levels and uniformity make sure you run the calculations without objects and furnitures what happens when you do the calculations with objects is because see take an example here now i have gym equipment 3d models placed here and this gym equipment 3d model has the shadow 
and when you are doing the lux calculations with object even this shadow will get calculated in your lux levels plus uniformity too so it's important that you make a setting and for your final calculation do the calculations without objects and furnitures let me run the calculation and see the results now i got here 222 lux and 0.18 uniformity and it is showing me red mark red mark here that means i am not achieving the required lux levels and uniformity for the space whereas for the second option let me run here to without objects now see here i am achieving 331 lux here and 0.55 uniformity and i got green mark that means i am achieving the required lux levels and uniformity right now here we were we were achieving 0.18 uniformity and here we were achieving 0.5 uniformity but the highest uniformity is 1 okay okay and any uniformity which is near to 1 that means we have more uniformity levels right and any uniformity levels like this one which is very less to 1 that means uniformity levels are low okay now other thing we have in lighting design usually a misunderstood concept that if we have more uniformity your lighting design proposal is good no that doesn't mean that way because we we work on different spaces and the requirement for different spaces is different now suppose you're working on a residential project residential projects are more personalized space designed based on how a user is using this space okay in residential project even if you refer any lighting standard code or handbook there is no specific and rigid lux levels and uniformity to achieve okay but whereas if you consider the but suppose if you consider an office project there there's certain lux levels and uniformity levels you have to achieve now consider the other project if you are working on hospital projects these kind of spaces need higher uniformity levels very higher uniformity you need for hospital projects uniformity is based on spaces now let us check the same detail in lighting standard book sipse code of lighting and let us check any specific application and let us check their uniformity required now see here here we are in uh, code for lighting for hospitals and here this is for bedded areas and uh, if you see for this section they have lux levels requirement to be 300 and the uniformity is lesser than or equal to 0 0.5 now if you see this is a a different space this is for sports lighting and if you check the uniformity here there is different uniformity levels for different applications right see here it's 0 0.7 0 0.7 then 0 0.5 the uniformity standards do vary as per the spaces the best thing we have in dialogues is that when we choose spaces we choose we already are selecting our spaces based on this standards itself okay if you have a separate document of a lighting code you ch you can check the document or or you can evaluate your photometric calculations on the standard spaces from dialogues i hope you understood what is uniformity and how to calculate uniformity in the dialogues evo so this is it guys in this video if you found this video helpful please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me Thank you.